Hello everyone, Kevin Davis from BioIT World with a preview of the Consumer Genetics Conference which comes back to Boston this October, October the 3rd to the 5th uh, at the Seaport Hotel, one of my favorite conferences uh, over the past two years and I'm delighted to be joined by John Boyce, the co-founder of the conference. John, great to see you. Great to see you, Kevin. Welcome to CHI World Headquarters in uh, this lovely Boston suburb. John co-founded the conference with Meredith Salisbury, uh, business partner and friend, um, former uh, editor and CEO of Genome Technology. And this year you're partnering with CHI, with Cambridge Health Tech Institute, to, uh, to help you uh, put on an even bigger and better show than in years past, correct? Absolutely. You know, I think the conference has hit a stage where um, it was started out as a grassroots effort and grew over the years significantly. It got to the point where it became actually too big for Meredith and I to handle. We, we figured out we would wanted to really take it up to the next stage, to put a little bit more finesse on the conference, to really bring, to really bring it to the stage where um, it was marketed correctly, it got out to the masses. Um, it had been just completely grassroots, all marketing, and now basically CHI has brought a level of sophistication to the conference and really actually made it more available, amenable to the masses while preserving the same spirit that we started with the conference that's been maintained. Right. And I think that's been crucial, actually. Right. So it's been a great partner. Well, let's talk about the spirit and the reasons you got into the conference business sure. in the first place, which I'm sure looking back on it, you're thinking, what the hell were we thinking? Yeah, actually. But, uh, 2009, <laughs> were you still at, Bio, at uh, Helicos at the time? Uh, I, I just left Helicos and okay. I was starting Delphi Bio. And at the same okay. time, I was, uh, I, was, I was doing a Fomix, which we later sold to a DNA sequencing company. Okay. Um, we, we figured out though, and, and New Bio was just starting up at that time, and we were getting that going. So I had a number of things going on. So Meredith and I thought that this was the right time, actually. We're, we're in New York one day, and we're saying, my God, actually, there's been a lot of, there's been a lot of buzz between, amongst 23andMe, Navigenics, and other companies out there. We could see this, this momentum building. And we were looking for a forum that basically had all components. It was the, that had the technology components, that had the direct-to-consumer components to it, that also had the legal and the ethical components. And there wasn't a conference. And so our, in our ultimate wisdom, we were walking around New York. I had a fever one day and we were, we were talking about this and we decided, well, let's form a conference. How hard can it be? Right. And the answer, unbelievably hard. <laughs> you know? We had no experience doing this and it, it got big quickly, way bigger than we thought. And we were quickly overwhelmed at that point. And, and your goal wasn't to make money. This was simply no. to bring a community, a very uh, big community together to discuss the impact of uh, the, you know, the revolution in genomic medicine, uh, direct-to-consumer genomics, um, and it, it did tremendously well uh, Thanks, for, the first, for the first few years. It did, it did, and we, yeah, the goal was actually just, to, just as you said, it was a labor of love, yeah. so to speak, and, and, and we questioned our sanity at the time, because at the time <laughs> when we did this, you know, we, we realized now we actually have to pay for some of these things, and getting sponsorships at the time in 2008, 2009, beginning of 2009, things weren't going so well in the economy at that time. So again, not only did it, not only did our ultimate wisdom did we decide to cut a con to start a conference we knew nothing about, we'd probably decided to do it in the worst economical the economic times and, right. that we've been seeing in, in quite a few years. You not only brought a community together and really helped um, give voice to to what companies like Twenty Three and Me and Navigenics and others were doing, but the conference made news. I mean, you brought in executives from leading uh, sequencing and genomics providers, uh, and they saved some of their biggest announcements for this particular venue. Absolutely, you know, it was it. It's we're we're we're, we're thrilled to have a uh, company such as Illumina, where Jay Flatley announced is the first year of announced his iPhone application, where he could scan a, his genome and compare it to yeah. others yeah. on his iPhone. And then year after year, he saved some of the big events and some of the large announcements that they had in the field in consumer genetics and in the iPad application for the mm. conference. And it's really become a venue and a forum for these companies to put their news out. Life Technologies also has done some phenomenal announcements in the past mm -hmm. at the conference. So I think this has really become the the venue where people are getting it out, they're mm. letting the crowd know, they're letting the communities know. And actually also it's pulling in, it's now become, not only since the big companies are announcing it there, the small companies are coming and the venture capital companies are coming, the venture capital firms are coming mm. as well as the investment banks. So we're getting mm. sort of the, the, the whole gamut from beginning to end mm -hmm. uh, being represented actually in the, 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 the ecosystem, if you will, right. at the conference. So fast forward to 2012, you're busy running New Bio, that's New Bio with a G. Um, <laughs> What was that the reason well, that you've decided you needed to seek a partner to help get this conference not just launched this year but but take it to the next level? Absolutely, yeah. We were one of the things we were, we were thinking about. We, we we started, you know, previous previous years we've had registrations of 700, 800, 800 people, and this was just again word of mouth and us sending out a few blasts. And 
Um, this year, you know, really New Bio has grown, which is a startup company we're doing on uh, on, on DNA sequencing. Shameless plug. Uh, we have to basically. So it's it's the company itself has really grown. We're about 27 people now. We're growing. We're closing out. Um, additional funding at this point, and we're we're now ramping the company up in, in our efforts. Uh, commercialization is, is is near term. So, with that said, given the interest we're having on that, and for doing the conference the conference at the same time, it became really hard to to do both of these. And, and Meredith was actually starting a uh, consulting company at the time. Right. Right. So, I think two of these things just right. made it almost impossible. We were looked at each other and said, "My God, how are we going to handle this?" Right. So, you were looking for help, but you didn't want to let go of the reins completely. And I mean, the, you and Meredith deserve all the credit for building this uh, terrible Thanks American word franchise. <laughs> Um, but but uh, and this uh, arrangement now with CHI, this partnership going forward, allows you to still play a, a key uh, organizational and uh, sort of uh, strategic role, uh, but letting uh, a professional company like CHI kind of uh, take take the reins and do most of the of the legwork. Absolutely, you know. In fact, when we were looking at when it wasn't uh, it wasn't us just saying we need help. Let's go, you know, slip this off to anybody. It was yeah. really we, we wanted we wanted a partner that that we we felt we could work with, where we mm. knew the people. I knew you, Kevin. I knew others. Mm. And we really liked the the people that were at CHI, and we also felt that that was really the spirit and uh, the team here represented what Meredith and I had built. Mm. Um, so what we wanted to do was find a partner that that had that. So getting it over to CHI, putting putting ourselves working with you mm. and working with the team here really kind of was was what we wanted. It was basically a, a choice rather than just help us. Mm. It was a little bit of that too, yeah. but, but, yeah. <laughs> but there was yeah. a, there was a choice involved. So the meeting is being held uh, this October, uh, October third to the fifth in Boston. What uh, you've been involved in in much of the planning of the of the of the meeting and the agenda. What uh, what are your uh, prospective highlights of the meeting uh, as we speak here, maybe six weeks out? Certainly, the of, of given my background, of course, I always tend to, to to drift towards more of the DNA sequencing side. To me, that's certainly a highlight. Always an exciting always an exciting field. And the two of the biggest companies, Illumina and Life Technologies, will be presenting at the conference. Um, Jay Flatley always gives a phenomenal talk every year. He'll be doing it again this year. Um, I'm sure there'll be some sort of iPad um, application and browser aspect to that. Um, I think that's certainly going to be a highlight. Um, Life Technologies will also be presenting. Greg has a vision basically in the field and basically where not only sequencing is going, but where healthcare is going as well. So, um, and Jay, of course, will be wrapping that into his into his vision as in, on top of that. So I think those two things I think are key. Given that I said, given what we were talking about earlier, Kevin, that there's also going to be representation from the venture capitalists to find uh, the investment banking community, as well as the startup communities, it always helps to have someone there that's talked about the challenges any 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 field has gone up over the, and gone through over the fields uh, through the years. And one of those people is Stan Lapidus. Stan actually started SciTech, um, as well as a number of other companies. He's your former boss. At former boss at Helicos, right. and and Stan is. He also he's also he also teaches a course at MIT at the business school at Sloan. What Stan's going to talk about really is from beginning to end identifying what constitutes a good concept for an idea to form a company around. Uh, what are the key what are the key criteria to doing that, and basically how you go from there, how you judge that, and what sort of questions should we be asking or should we be asking? What a lot of entrepreneurs do is they they start small and ask smaller questions. Stan actually has a different way of thinking about that. I certainly won't steal his thunder, right? But he will actually give a, a, a great presentation that I think will be helpful for not only the, the entrepreneurs in the audience, but also the venture capitalists as well as the investment right. banks that, that are present. And in that opening keynote session, you've got Lee Silver, the author of Remaking Eden, a yes. uh, bestseller from about 10 years ago, a, a brilliant geneticist from Princeton who's got a number of entrepreneurial yes. activities uh, in this area. You've got still the... Uh, the, the, the landmark or the flagship direct-to-consumer companies, uh, notably 23andMe, yes. presenting on the early results from their exome sequencing uh -huh. uh, service, and uh, and just a host of other fantastic speakers mm -hmm. uh, over the uh, over the three days. So it should be a fantastic uh, uh, meeting, John. Thanks for for partnering with us, and uh, we look forward to the meeting and some good parties. I understand are on tap as well. <laughs> there always are, actually. Yes, <laughs> both Illumina and Life Technologies are will be having some great social events at yeah. the at the conference. All right. Well, John, thanks for joining us. Uh, if you want more information, if you want to review the agenda or, or sign up or register, here's the URL, consumergeneticsconference.com. I'm Kevin Davis of BioIT World. We look forward to seeing you in October at the Consumer Genetics Show. Thanks. Thank you.